Welcome to the ultimate guide on maximizing your crushing efficiency, where we reveal the secrets of reduction ratios. I'm DJ from Machinery Partner, and we're about to demystify this crucial crushing concept for you. Imagine you're at a job site surrounded by a mountain of rocks in every size imaginable. Your task? Turn them into manageable, uniform pieces that can be used on your projects, for example, as road base. But here's the million dollar question. Can your crusher handle the challenge? Or are the rocks simply too big to crush? That's where understanding reduction ratios makes the difference. So let's clear things up. What's a reduction ratio in the context of crushing? It's a simple yet powerful metric that tells us the maximum size of the feed your crusher can take and the expected size of the output. For instance, let's say your crusher has a six to one reduction ratio. This means that if a six inch rock enters the chamber, it will be broken down into one inch pieces on average. These ratios can determine which crushers will work the best or most efficiently based on your needs. It also gives you a rule of thumb for the limits of each machine. For example, if your machine has a six to one crushing ratio, you would not be able to put in a 12 inch piece of rock and break it into one inch pieces on the first pass. This would be a 12 to one ratio. Every crusher will also have a maximum input size. To stay efficient, ensure the material size is within 80% of the jaw box or impact chamber opening. So for a jaw box of 19 by 10 inches, anything up to 15 inches will be handled by the machine. Try crushing material that is larger than this and you risk blocking and jamming your machine. Now, let's talk crusher types and their reduction ratios. Jaw crushers, like the impressive Arc J1910 or Barford 750J, boast a 6 to 1 reduction ratio, making them perfect for breaking up tough materials like concrete and rock. Impact crushers, on the other hand, offer a higher reduction ratio of 10 to 1. They deliver a sudden impact force that shatters materials into smaller pieces, making them ideal for medium hard materials like concrete and limestone. Lastly, cone crushers offer a five to one reduction ratio. They use compression to reduce material sizes and are reliable tools for efficient secondary crushing. But why are reduction ratios so important? Well, they help increase your crushing efficiency by understanding what your crusher can handle. By selecting the right crusher for your needs, you can save time, money, and improve productivity. Crushing waste material can save and make your business thousands. Doing it well doesn't have to be difficult with the right knowledge. At Machinery Partner, we're here to help you navigate the world of crushing. Whether you're a small contractor or a seasoned pro, our experts can guide you to a perfect crusher for your business needs. Get in touch with us today or visit our website to explore the full range of crushing equipment. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe to make sure you're the first to see our newest how-to videos.